February the 26th, 2022. Guys, I want to talk about uh, probably the number one subject in the universe right now, and it's the Russian-Ukraine situation that we've been watching now. And uh, the fighting continues. Things are intensifying. It looks like Russia is going to put more pressure into the uh, situation there. And there's a, they've been talking about what I want to talk about here since the beginning of the conflict. And it's called SWIFT, guys, S-W-I-F-T. And it is the way that the banks communicate worldwide. If your bank is not part of SWIFT, you do not have a bank. In other words, you can't transfer money. You don't have the... Uh, communications that are encrypted all of the stuff that's necessary to have a bank you're taken out of swift and the first day many nations said no we're not going to get that involved with this thing because we have so many transactions that involve russia it's going to hurt us but the but the powers that be and you know who they are have been piling on for the last 24 hours really heavily on all of the nations it says, in devastating move, U.S. weighs sanctions on uh, Russia's central bank as Germany backs targeted removal of Russia from SWIFT. So we got two things in that title. One is sanctions on Russia's central bank and uh, this targeted removal of Russia from SWIFT. When they say target, they, they're probably going to protect some of their assets that they don't freeze. But listen, here's the problem is that Putin has said he's not going to put up with a lot of crap from Europe or anybody else, right? And so if we attack his banking system, then don't you think that one way or the other, most likely via hacking, that uh, our banking system and all the banking systems of the uh, people that are involved in this sanction will be taken down? And there's been rumors going around, guys, for the last week or two from a lot of different sources about even our U.S., I think it's uh, State Department or NSA, one of them, have been talking about problems on hacking that we could be facing very quickly. One is power grid, one is Internet, and one is banking systems and communication, okay? And so if Putin will hit back, where's your money at right now? And don't you know that the puppet masters have every bit of this planned to move everything to a one-world um, chip system? As far as your money, you'll get a card or whatever you'll get. And depending on your social credit score, will be to how much you get on that card to buy food or what you can buy. It will be complete control. So right now, you better think about something. And you better think about it very heavily. You want to see where your assets are. You want to have control of those. Is it better to have a lot of green, worthless paper in your bank account? Maybe it's there. Or would it be better to have assets, food, shelter, protection, uh, extra fuel? Think about it. Think about what we're talking about. Because there's going to be a massive tsunami within 30 days of this happening and it's going to be a tsunami of chaos by 30 days people that cannot access the banks cannot access um, food fuel electricity it will become and mark my words mad max part 10 the roving gangs it's going to be tough and so it, the better isolated you are, the better prepared you are, the maybe you can survive the tsunami, but it's coming. And if the, if the U.S. and Europe and Europe and NATO pull this swift sanction, you better prepare for all-out problems. Don't know if it will just be hacking. But it says, following a full court press by Western nations, the handful of European holdouts, those most reliant on Russian energy supplies. Think about it. Puppet masters are about to freeze Europe. Physically freeze. 
says energy supplies and continued Russian capital flows such as Germany, Hungary, Italy, Cyprus, who have been adverse to expelling Russia from the SWIFT electronic payment messaging system are one of uh, one by one folding on their objections. Puppet masters. Overnight, Italy joined the growing consensus seeking to keep Russia out of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. That's SWIFT. That's what it stands for. The again, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial T Telecommunication Global Banking System to punish it for the invasion of Ukraine as the European Union weighs up the impact of such an action. In other words, we're about to lose gas and everything, but do you realize, guys, the elites have a bug out plan paid for by tax dollars around the planet? They'll let the cat, this tsunami of chaos go through whatever wars are involved. And, uh, they're, you know, that's just how it's going to be. It said also on Saturday, Poland's prime minister said he had spoken again with his Hungarian counterpart, Viktor Orban, who had assured him of Budapest's support for far-reaching sanctions against Russia. So, again, as this is key, this could happen at any moment of, the first day that they talked about it, the day of the, day of the invasion, the, a lot of people backed out. They were scared of what the re, uh, repercussions would be to their finances. Okay? But now the puppet masters are putting that pressure. Guys, we are in some of the worst times that we could see, and it could be leading into very devastating consequences. Again, the, what's been going around, the power will go out. Communications, the banks, the Internet will go down. They will, they will blame someone on the hack. But then, are you prepared for the, and you can call it whatever you want to, a zombie apocalypse, Mad Max, it doesn't matter. When people go 30 days without food, your best friends will turn on you. And you think Mad Max, the movie, was not there for a reason? That's what is going to happen. The survivors of the first impact of whatever it is will become roving gangs. You, your family will not be safe. The ultimate chaos. And you remember, we shall unleash the nihilist. And that's happened. Also, I'm going to put a link in the top in the uh, top of the comments about the uh, Rose Bowl parade that's going on from Cali up to the swamp. Some live stuff going on there. Check that out, guys. Check out your finances. Check out what you want to do. Every greenback will possibly become useless. Your access to your accounts could become impossible turn whatever you have into physical assets in one form or the other put the link below it's a heads up be safe